Hello, I'm Dr. Chowdhury, and welcome to FSMB Spotlight. Our guest today is Dr. Scott Steingard, Chair of the FSMB's Board of Directors. Dr. Steingard is a prominent family physician and sports medicine specialist who's been practicing medicine in Arizona for more than 30 years. He's a graduate of the University of Arizona and the University of Osteopathic Medicine and Health Sciences in Des Moines, Iowa. He also served as member of the Arizona Board of Osteopathic Examiners in Medicine and Surgery, of which he was president for several years. He's also the recipient of the Volunteer of the Year Award of the Arizona Osteopathic Medical Association and the Arizona State Legislature's Governor's Award. He's also served as medical coordinator for the Fiesta Bowl and like his late father, who was also a renowned physician as team physician for the Phoenix Suns and the Phoenix Roadrunners. Scott, welcome. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Tell me a little bit about what got you involved at the state board level and then ultimately at the FSMB. Well, I got an interest in health policy and that led me to go to my state association who asked me if I was interested in being on the licensing board. And I spent some time talking to my father who had also been on the licensing board and he encouraged me to put my name in and the governor selected me. Um, I initially attended a meeting of the Federation in, in 1999 and then returned back in 2006 when I got reappointed to the board. And that was where I really became interested in getting involved in the Federation. Great, and the rest is history. Um, there are lots of issues that the state medical and osteopathic boards are dealing with and tackling. Uh, tell me a little bit of what the FSMB is gonna be focusing on on their behalf in the coming year. Well, one of our biggest topics is phys physician sexual misconduct. And under the leadership of our immediate past chair, Dr. Pat King, we'll be finalizing that work group's work recommendations, which will be coming out in April. Uh, and then we'll be talking about physician professional regulation in medical practice, and that will be divided into two subgroups, one on physician impairment, and the other on risk and support factors that affect physicians throughout the continuum of their career. Along with that, we have issues with, uh, we have a task, uh, task force on artificial intelligence, and the AI task force is convening this year, and we'll be moving forward with uh, more information as that comes forward. Um, we're also doing uh, ethics and professionalism committee will be tackling uh, issues surrounding physician self-prescribing and prescribing to family members. So we have a lot on our board, on our on our plate. Sounds like, and some of those may take more than a year to finalize. Correct. That's correct. So let me go back to ten years ago when you around the time of when you started. Um, at that time, the FSMB. Uh, experimented with having a full-time presence here in the nation's capital. Ten years later, here we are at the National Press Club. Uh, tell me a little bit about that decade and the role that the FSMB can play in supporting the state boards from this important capital. Well, I, that's a great question because I think if you look back to our previous boards, um, oftentimes we didn't know what we didn't know by not being at the table in Washington, D.C. And with your leadership, as well as our previous board under the direction of Dr. Marty Crane, we made the decision to establish a presence here in Washington, D.C. And I think that's paid off. And I think it's paid off in our visibility and presence. It's helped our state medical boards know that we have a presence here when federal issues that affect our state medical boards will come to the fore and we're there to react. Very good. Well, I certainly wish you the very best. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you also for your leadership of the nation's state medical and osteopathic licensing boards. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Stay well and see you next time. <laughs>